Hi and welcome to this first impressions video of the Pimax 8K Plus. Now the Pimax 8K Plus is an improvement over the original Pimax 8K and in this video I'm going to find out if actually the Pimax 8K Plus is the Pimax 8K that we had hoped for from the very beginning. Disclaimer, this is a pre-production model of the Pimax 8K Plus and therefore I can only give you my first impressions here now. The final Pimax 8K Plus is going to come with a comfort mod and the modular audio strap. So this here is an old housing, the original 8K housing, just with the new panel. So therefore I can only comment on this new panel and therefore I'm going to show you lots of through the lens footage. Also, I'm going to compare this with the index and with the HP reverb. So stay tuned and watch the whole review and all of this goodness is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, and if you're just as excited about VR and Airs Me, and if you appreciate unbiased reviews, then subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. First of all, if you've never heard about the Pimax headsets and if you're wondering, hey, why doesn't this guy show me an Oculus Quest? <laughs> Please have a look at my original review of the Pimax 8K and the Pimax 5K Plus, which you can find here. Now, with this out of the way, we can talk about the Pimax 8K Plus. This is an improved version of the original Pimax 8K. Also, just like with the original Pimax 8K, we have two 4K displays within the headset. The difference though is that now we have displays with full LCD RGB stripe matrix, which means we have three subpixels per pixels, which makes for lots of subpixels here with the headset. For the original Pimax 8K, we did not have an RGB stripe matrix and therefore I personally did not like the display when I compared it against the Pimax 5K Plus and therefore I preferred the Pimax 5K Plus. More importantly, why I preferred the Pimax 5K Plus is that the original Pimax 8K did have more latency than the Pimax 5K Plus and therefore I personally could not enjoy the Pimax 8K and therefore did not recommend it. For the Pimax 8K Plus, Pimax did not only exchange the display, they have also changed the upscaling algorithm. So still, just like with the Pimax 8K, the original signal that arrives here is a 1440p signal that gets upscaled to 4K. However, this time with a new algorithm. Now, the question of course is, is there still the latency and how does the picture look like? Great news, there's no more latency, so this now is just as responsive as the Pimax 5K Plus was. Also, for the picture quality, this is actually the best picture quality that I've ever seen in a Pimax headset and that is pretty astonishing. So therefore, let's have a look at how the picture looks like in lots of through the lens videos. And we start here with Hell Split Arena. Yes, it looks so good. And yes, I filmed this through the lens of the Pimax 8K Plus. Astonishing, isn't it? And I chose Hellspit Arena because the textures simply look so good. I also did through the lens videos of Skyrim, but the textures were simply so low res that you would simply look at low res textures and therefore Hellsplit Arena. Just enjoy this. Doesn't it look amazing? In direct comparison with the Pimax 8K and the Pimax 5K Plus, this looks way better. And also comparing this with the Valve Index, the Pimax 8K Plus looks better. And playing Hellsplit and of course lots of other games with this kind of picture quality and this big LOV, it's simply pure fun. Now of course you're wondering what kind of PC do you need? What about performance? And well, I only have a GDX 1080 Ti, so everything that you're going to see in this video is being done on a GDX 1080 Ti. 
For Hellsplit Arena, I got an FPS of 75, and that was actually the maximum that this panel could do according to PyTool. For the final Pimax 8K Plus, Pimax tells me that the panel will do 90 Hz, and at that moment in time, for sure, you will need a beast of a PC to make this happen. Now you're probably wondering what kind of super sampling did I use to make this kind of picture quality happen? And well, I didn't use any super sampling. There was PyTool 1.0 and Steam super sampling at 100%. What you see here now is Vader Immortal Episode 2 and I had already teased this little video yesterday. And what I want to show you here is that actually yes, you can still use all of the Oculus titles. You even don't need Revive, you only need to import the Oculus games into your Pi tool and then you can play them and it's so much fun since well, now you got this huge FOV, you got this great picture quality and without a doubt, it's so much more fun to play this with the Pimax 8K Plus than it is to do this with the Rift S. Now again talking about the performance. Do you need more performance than you needed with the original 8K? No, not at all. If you had a PC that could run the 8K, you also have a computer that is able to run the 8K+. Plus because, well, there is one added subpixel per pixel, but you do not need any more resources to compute this additional subpixel and therefore you do not need more performance than you needed for the 8K. But anyways, these headsets are meant for the very high end. So you should have a GDX 2080 Ti to make full use of these panels. And I gotta admit, I finally have to upgrade to a 2080 Ti myself. All right, so now it's finally time for DCS. I know that lots of you are huge fans of simulators. So here we go, this is DCS. And as you can tell, it looks so good. It is nearly photorealistic, but now on the big FOV. So that should be big news for all the sim fans, X-Plane 11, DCS, and so on and so forth. This is so good. Unfortunately now, I'm going down here with the plane. It was so tough to take this video and yes, I understand I could have just recorded the replay, but well, I simply restarted the plane again. And here we go, have another look at how clear everything looks like. It's so good. And I must honestly tell you, I was surprised by this kind of picture quality. Why? Well, this is still a 1440 P signal, right? And this signal gets upscaled to these 4K displays. So what I can tell you, it seems like that this upscaler is doing an amazing job at upscaling the 1440p signal to 4K. Now seeing this kind of picture, I'm wondering how amazing must the 8KX look like? And on top of that, I'm wondering what kind of computer will be able to drive it. Now Pimax says you're good with 12080 Ti, but well, I doubt it until I really see that for myself, because that must be simply crazy. Anyways, I had big fun with the Pimax 8K Plus, with this pre-production model, even with my GDX 1080 Ti. As you could see, the picture quality of the Pimax 8K Plus is simply amazing. And this is the Pimax 8K that we would have wished for from the very beginning. Now, when I was reviewing the HP Reverb, lots of people asked me, hey, Sebastian, what would you go for? The little screen door effect of the Reverb or the wide FOV of the Pimax headsets? Well, now you have both in this headset. So this truly is pretty amazing. Now let's talk about the lenses, distortion, colors, contrast, black levels, and so on and so forth. First of all, for the lenses, they are exactly the same lenses that have been in all the Pimax 8K series models. So there is absolutely no difference. Therefore, there is still some warping around the edges and slight distortions. However, Compared to when I first tried these Pimax 8K series headsets like 
more than one year ago until now the engineers have done a great job to get rid of most of the distortions so if i play a game on normal and that's what i normally do i don't really see distortion you will get used to the imperfections really soon however i must very clearly tell you there are still imperfections there and if you're used to vive and rift and also index then there is a difference and well pimax is trying to push things to the very very limit and this means that it's not perfect as what distortions are concerned now let me give you my first impressions as far as the colors contrast and black levels are concerned again i can only talk about this pre-production model and even with this really nice display pimax told me that the final pimax 8k plus is going to have an even better display so my final judgment on the display i can only give you once i got the final pimax 8k plus so for this model the colors are okay they are good but i've seen better colors and i've seen better contrast in the valve index and also in the hp reverb both have more popping colors than what i see here so i can remember when i played arizona sunshine for example in the hp reverb i was like stunned by that beautiful orange which was just so popping but here it looked a bit muted i would say so i cannot sing high praises here about the colors of this device now for the black levels same pretty okay pretty similar to what we see in other lcd headsets so no big surprises they these are still lcd black levels which will give you some some grayish overall looking colors so definitely have to wait again for the full review of the final pimax 8k plus but for this one no big differences as compared to the original pimax 8k in the end how does the pimax 8k plus compare with the hp reverb and the valve index so all of these headsets do have their pros and cons for the hp reverb it does look incredibly sharp in this small fov however unfortunately the displays are so small that you can see the edges of the display and that does get me personally out of the immersion also we do have mura and well overall right now i would definitely say that the pimax 8k plus does have clear advantages we do have just as little screen door effect now with the new panel and we do have that huge fov so that is pretty amazing now with the valve index the valve index is just such a nice rounded headset right everything is very polished we have a really nice display we do have a bigger fov the finishing is amazing the housing is great the controllers are there and the whole package for 999 dollars is just a good deal for the enthusiast so against the valve index the pimax 8k plus as i have it here right now with this kind of straps and without any audio solution uh, audio solution does not stand a chance that i must say very clear but with the final version having this comfort kit and also having this modular audio strap it could stand a chance absolutely now will it be worth it the 500 dollars on top of what you pay for the full package of the valve index that is another question this is going to be 999 dollars but then you still don't have the base stations and the controllers which together will probably be around 500 dollars that's why i say uh, 500 dollars plus will it be worth it i don't know yet it could stand a chance simply because the display does look better in terms of screen door effect and of course we have that bigger fov still pimax headsets are for vr enthusiasts the complete vr enthusiasts that want to see how pimax pushes the envelope and pimax does push the envelope however that comes at the cost of imperfections the software it still is not super polished for example for parallel projections i still have to manually click it 
And if I forget to unclick it, then performance will be bad. So there still needs to be lots of improvements. Also for people who are simply used to that perfect distortion-free picture, you do not get this with the Pimax headsets. You can get used to it and you will. I totally got used to it because I was using the Pimax 5K Plus for a long time. But well, this might not be for everyone. So this is truly for the enthusiast who can live with those small imperfections and who simply want to see how Pimax is pushing the envelope. At the end of this first impression video, I can only say best panel that I've seen from Pimax so far, big potential, and I'm looking forward to see the full review unit that I hopefully going to get as soon as they are ready with it. Also for sure, I'm looking forward to try out the 8KX, which is going to use the native 4K resolution. Wow, and that must be pretty amazing. That's it for this video. I truly hope that it was helpful for you. If yes, I'd be very happy about a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MOTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.